My name is Sandeep Tandasheri. I am the founder CEO of Navolt Solar and Electric Boards. So we build um, solar and electric boards for public transport, tourism, fishing boat, roro, and other applications in marine transport. And we intend to cover all aspects or all applications in marine transport so that finally uh, we can have a complete uh, decarbonized marine transport and thereby have a cleaner and quieter ocean, which is our vision. At the moment, it operates in nine states in India, mostly in Kerala. So we have about um, 30 boats in operation, different sizes from small 10 passenger to the larger one like these, which are 100 passengers. So there are three things here in our boat. So one is the solar production. As you can see, we are under a 25 kilowatt solar plant. Being a catamaran, we have twin motors driving these boats, so which means there are twin systems. So there are two battery and two motors and two controls for these solar as well and which is sufficient for it to run it um, continuously maybe two to three hours without sun, with sun maybe four hours without break. I started with trying to make efficient boats like how to make boats better by good design. So that was the first step. I realized that design is obviously gives maybe 40 to 50 percent improvement. But if you shift the energy from fossil fuel to renewables, then there can be significant reduction in energy requirement. That is how we stepped into solar electric. And if you take a diesel ferry and if you take the traditional one, so the traditional boats are typically steel or wood and they are heavy. So typically a 75 passenger ferry is about 35 tons. So when we wanted to shift to solar electric, so one thing was to do an improvement from a design so that the energy need itself is reduced by uh, reducing the weight, improving the underwater shape, etc. So the second step was to make it electric, so switch from the diesel power to electric power. So it's a one third reduction just by shift to electric. But if you are able to do a good design, that is also a one third. So it's almost now one tenth in the energy requirement and the cost of energy. Typically in these solar ferries we do, about 70% of the energy is from sun. So which means that energy requirement which cost is about 10 cents, now it's about 3 cents. So it's a 1 30th reduction in energy cost when you switch from a diesel ferry to a solar ferry which is efficiently designed. We typically say anything under 5 years if you can break even the capex by the savings in opex. It's a good uh, solution. Let's say a 75 passenger ferry Typically, uh, the power required is 16 kilowatt to run at 6 knots, which means 1, 1 and a half kilowatt hour energy per kilometer, you can say. So typically, this is um, because of so much contribution from sun, uh, this is one of the lowest per passenger kilometer. In, it is like about 5 US cents per passenger kilometer. It's one of the lowest because it is 70% from sun. So public transport and now tourism are the applications where these economics work very well. These all can be solar electric today. In another 5-10 years, most of the boats will be solar electric here for sure. Certain long range and faster applications is still a challenge. We are trying, maybe the battery is better, various other alternatives, things will work.